excitement elephant's birthday. <laughs> Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. <laughs> it must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm. I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello. Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! One is still blinking. You're out. <laughs> You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Yay. Now it's time to pass the parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel. Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass. Parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Goose, please. Juice, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> It is very early on Christmas morning. Peppa and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <coughs> Santa's bean! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comets! And tangerines! <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, what? It's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa! Mr. Ah! Pedic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This Christmas pudding is delicious. Papa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsey. Birdsey. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good picky, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho.
a box. It is a lovely sunny day and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. Guess what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... What's wrong? You talk too much. You go, blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> This is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm! Mmm! You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Mackey Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. I can be quiet. It's not Easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> Get on your marks. Ready? Get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at Talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, oh, you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter. Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter. Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter. Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. 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 <laughs> Peppa and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Peppa. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. 
George, what's your favourite colour? Boo! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win. Hello, Candy. Meow. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win. <laughs> This is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Pepper. Where? Oh, <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy! Look. The sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Peppa and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> And do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, muddy puddle. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> <laughs>
It is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Peppa? I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes. Thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull, which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> children's ward. <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow. The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr. Potato. A carrot. And I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow. Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Peppa. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. Nay. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. Everybody likes running around having fun. Grumpy Rabbit's Lighthouse. Pepper, George and Danny are having a day out on Grandad Dog's boat. Can we go to Pirate's Island today? Yes, Danny. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. Ahoy there, matey. 
I brought your supplies. Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. Danny, Pepper, and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Oh. I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky, and uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh, I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round! <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbit. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not three, many places to hide four, on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. I found you. Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George! <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. <sighs> My new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Do you know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, yes please. please. I got, got up this morning. morning.
Foxes run. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her friends. It's Freddy Fox. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Freddy. Freddy. Come on, let's cycle through the big hill. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad, have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. I do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got... Everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup? For our bicycle race, please. How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> Friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> spring! It is springtime. Grandpa Pig has made a chocolate egg hunt. Is everybody ready? No, Grandpa. Freddy Fox isn't here. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Ah, hello, Mr Fox. Are you staying? I wish I could. 
Oh, I loved egg hunts when I was a little lad. See you later, Freddy. Yep, yep. Now, are we ready for the egg hunt? Yes, yes Grandma Pig. There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in my garden. You must find them. Easy. But be careful not to step on my little plants. Oh, it's so exciting in springtime to see these baby plants starting to grow. We promise to be careful, Grandpa. Very good. Off you go, then. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's chocolate egg hunt has begun. Have you got time for a cup of tea, Grandpa Pig? Oh, yes. It will take them ages to find my eggs. I've hidden them very well. Here's an egg. Pepper has found a chocolate egg in a plant pot. Here's another egg. Rebecca Rabbit has found a chocolate egg hiding under a leafy bush. Hooray! An egg for me! Emily Elephant has found a chocolate egg in the branches of a tree. I think I can smell chocolate. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Yes! Freddy Fox has found a chocolate egg in the middle of the bird bath. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! We found the chocolate eggs! It was really fun, but it was a bit easy. It wasn't easy for the little ones. George, Richard and Edmund haven't found any eggs. <laughs> I wonder where the other eggs are. <laughs> Chucky egg. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Edmund, I think there's something behind your ear. <laughs> Everyone has found a chocolate egg. <laughs> what do we do now, Grandpa Pig? Ha <laughs> ha! You eat them, of course. <laughs> Hello, children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> They're in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. <sighs> George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes. And they have eggs, too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! Now the chicks have hatched, it really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. I'm a little chick singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I've a fluffy yellow head and straw for my bed. And I jump up and down, sing cheek, cheek, cheek. <laughs> Whistling. It is a lovely sunny morning and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. Uh, 
I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <whistles> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. Can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody, cookies. <laughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? Yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. Oh! What's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Peppa has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle. <laughs> <laughs>